Okay, so now we're gonna go through a hitting routine. We're gonna start off with the T. The T is a great tool to use for a couple of different reasons. One, if we're working any specific mechanical things, uh, there's no timing involved. So the hitter can really focus what their body is doing. We're not gonna use that uh, for that particular reason right now. Right now, we're basically just getting ourselves loose. Thank you for hitting me in the shin right there. <laughs> that felt good. Okay, so a couple mistakes I see with the T. Uh, first thing is, if you're gonna hit a ball down the middle, the general rule is that the stride foot, so let me see this real quick, buddy. Your stride foot should land in a line with the T. So if I'm a lefty, it's there. If I'm a righty, heads up real quick. Let me do it right there. My stride foot should be in line. That allows me to hit the ball out front. One problem I see a lot with T work is that the hitters are past the ball. Right? I can't hit the ball when it's this deep. I've got to be able to make contact with the ball out in front. And what out in front, again, on a ball down the middle, I'd say basically in line or slightly in front of your front foot when you stride. So if you have a hitter that starts here and they're going to stride, they're going to go past the ball. I've watched a lot of t-ball, watching him when he was in t-ball a couple years ago. And it's... And now my daughter is, it's a huge mistake. I see players come up, they have no, where, no idea where to stand. Most of them stand far too far forward, okay? Because so, if you're swing, it's gonna be way too far back. Exactly, everything's gonna be hit to the opposite field if you're lucky, or it's gonna be hit into the, uh, to the dugout, okay? It's gonna be foul. It's gonna be foul, exactly. So let's start off there. We'll, we're gonna start middle, just to give the hitter an understanding of kind of where they need to be to be able to hit the ball. So I'll get out of the way, we'll take a couple of swings. So you're gonna start, yep, just behind the ball. Good job. In the Good swing, so hold on one sec. So here's an example, if I'm watching him, I'm gonna stand over here near the camera, because this is the angle, and I'm gonna be able to watch. Okay, go ahead, buddy. I almost made You're right, I have no idea what he's talking about. Hold on, so stop right there. So you're starting basically even. So slide back about a half an inch. There you go, go ahead and hit. Good, so you can see he's striding just past that line. So here's the line here, here's your foot. So let's slide back even maybe another two inches. Hold on, let me get a good angle here. Right about there, go ahead. It's about right where you want to be. All right, so we'll give him a bunch of opportunities here. Go ahead. Yep, that one you probably got a little bit too far forward. I did. Pretty good. All right, so let's move the camera angle here so you can kind of see where contact should be made as far as um, or you can see where ball flight is. So everything so far has been hit to the middle of the field and that's where it should be hit. If we're lining up, ball if middle of the plate. If you're too late, it's gonna be that side. And if you're too early, it's probably gonna be that side. No, that'd be the opposite. Oh. So if you're late, it's gonna be here. If you're early, you're there. But on a ball down the middle, again, if our foot is in, in line with the ball, everything should basically be hit up the middle. Got it, hit a couple more. Good, do that again. Let's go one more middle. Good. Very good. Okay. All right, so if you're on dirt, you can make that simple line right there. If you're not, um, you can use a piece of tape, um, use something on the ground to be able to mark off. Plastic. Yeah, you can put anything down to mark it off. Okay, now let's go from there. Let's I work. Well, let's work on pulling the ball for a couple. So now anytime we pull the ball, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move the ball inside, but we're gonna move it slightly out in front. So That's gonna 
be harder to hit. You don't want to move it way out in front. Let me change the angle again real quick of the camera. Okay, so you can see that we move the ball in and just slightly forward. It's not way, oops, sorry about that. It's not way out here. So if we had middle about right there, I we're only gonna move it just a little bit about forward. Two the hitter's gonna stay in the same spot though. So you stay back. Now you're gonna connect with this ball a little bit more out front and it's where should these come, balls go? Um, probably over there. To right field, right. So we're aiming kind of for the right center field gap above the second baseman's head. So let's try a couple. You make sure that you st you've got to start in the same spot. So I feel like you moved up a little bit. So move back a little, back towards the catcher a little. Yep, and you're gonna catch these out front a little bit more. Go ahead. Very good. So, so that ball's driven in the right center field gap. Very good. It did, that one was close to the fence. All right, so there you go, right there. Very good, so that one's a line drive over the second baseman's head. Let's go one more and we'll change the camera angle. Oh, hold on, yep, there you go, good. Yep, so that one was more middle. Not saying that balls can't go to the middle, but he was probably a little bit too far forward. All right, so here's a good angle here. So go ahead, make sure that you're back in that same spot. Yep, exactly. Now you're gonna catch the ball out front a little bit more. Over there, that's way over there. Yep, now that one you were a little bit in on the plate. So still give yourself some room, just be back towards the catcher a little bit. There you go. Good. That's far Let's go a couple more. I'm just trying to swim as hard as I can. Yep, and we'll go last one right there. Good job. So those are all basically right center field. Now what we'll do is we're going to move the tee back and we're going to go outside pitch. So let's so move this over here again. Up. So if you think about if we take three balls real quick. I'm hit it to left. If we move this, we put the ball down the middle right there. We put the ball inside about right there. And we're going to put the ball outside about right there. So it's not a huge distance. It's not, it's not this. It's just a little bit. We're talking a couple of inches each way. So if I move this outside ball, we're going to put the T right there. We it's do. Gonna go to left field. Yep, we do hit the outside pitch a little bit deeper, but we're not trying to get the ball way back there. Okay, so we're going to put it right here on the edge of the plate. And I'm going to try to hit it to left field. You're going to stay in the same spot though. Right, right here? The same spot that you've been. Now, we talked about how your foot's going to be even on the ball down the middle. Now we're probably going to be just so, ever so slightly in front of that even line to be able to drive the ball I that way. I might hit the camera. Imagine if I hit a foul ball and it hits the camera. Uh, you're not going to hit the camera. All right, so here we go. So remember, your front foot now needs to land just slightly past the ball. So you've got to slide up a little bit if you're too far behind. Right there, there we go. Very good. That's up the middle. Good. No, that's, I mean, that right there, I know you guys couldn't see that. That was basically between the shortstop and the second baseman. Try that again. You're going to be up a little bit. Going to catch this ball a little bit deeper. Yeah, left center field. Very good. So, so it's a line drive basically over the shortstop's head. Try that again. Yep. That one's up the middle. I got a little too close right there. Remember, don't be too deep because now you're going to catch that outside pitch too far out front. So move up a little bit more towards the pitcher, right about there. Still try to hit it hard. Do that again. You're good. Try to hit the ball hard to left center field right now. Yep, one more. So that was kind of like a soft line drive over the shortstop's head. Hold on, let me get out of here so I can watch. There you go. That's in the gap. I keep hitting on two centers. That's not bad. All right, so let's take a breather. Good. So, a couple more tips when it comes to hitting off the tee. And you can notice with him, and this isn't just with him, but it's with most players. Most players are better at pulling the ball, especially at a young age, 
and then going to the opposite field so you can see most of his balls. He actually hits the majority of his balls to the middle of the field, which is kind of what we talk about a lot, saying left center or right center. But you'll notice he'll probably struggle a little bit more in the outside part of the plate. But the T is great again, the learn point of contact, understand that the ball inside is going to be hit a little bit more out front. The ball is going to get hit a little bit deeper the further away from us the that it, it goes. So they're going to learn point of contact, which is important. They're going to learn how to be able to hit the ball the other way, how to hit it middle, how to be able to pull the ball. The other thing to think about is moving the height of the pitch. So you can move it up, you can move it down. So well, hold on one sec. So the biggest issue, one of the biggest issues I see after not knowing where to stand is always having the tee at the exact same spot every single time. So move the tee around, make it be middle, inside, outside, make it be up and down. Try to cover all quadrants of the hitting zone. All right, now he's gonna move on apparently to base running. He just slid in the first base. So, um, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.